Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our adventure here in Pokemon Crystal. But if everything is going correctly, which I hope it is, we have uh, a fun little thing that I decide to do to uh, make it, um, like, I'm trying to think of the way to word it, but it's just like, to add something that was already there. We'll start with the one thing that probably won't come up because it's a little too late. I put the ROM through a randomizer so that trade Pokemon and otherwise impossible evolutions can be gotten. So that's just a cool little thing I decided to do. Also, I think after all this time I'm just going to... Let's see. Just, I prefer it because for the stereo, it comes out in different ears and it annoys me a little bit. Sometimes I like to have one headphone off my ear and then the music sounds wonky and I hate it. Okay, now to decide, do we want to teach Ho-Oh a fly? I'll take a look at the moves because it would just be nice to have Ho-Oh. Recover, maybe... Sunny day, I don't... Hmm. Because I never really use it. The only time that it would really come in handy is... Like, during a long battle. But then at the same time, other fire types can take advantage of it. But I think I'll do recover, because... If I'm going to heal my Pokémon, I'll just use a Hyper Potion. And how much... How much health do you have? I'm gonna take a look and see. Yeah, it'll have to go through the whole diddly deep. No. That's kind of- Once again, if I'm pressing B a lot, it kind of means- Hey, stop! Yeah, Ho-Oh, like, doesn't even have 200 health. So it's just like, even if it did have 200 health, like over 200 health, like, Hyper Potion is still going to probably be better than Recover. Because from what I rec remember, Recover didn't heal it all the way. Well, actually, let me see. Let's go and see what Recover has to say for itself. Because this tab exists. Recover. Restores HP by one half the max HP. And I doubt it honestly that Ho-Oh is going to get over 400 HP. And he So yeah, basically, Hyper Potion, Recovery... It's basically like six of one, half a dozen another, so yeah. Fly for you, that way we don't really have to have Owl on the team anymore. But yeah, as I was saying, before I got on off track, I decided to run the ROM through... I am a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm gonna... I know. I think I have a thing for this. It is... <laughs> No, I refuse. First, pause. Me being a dumbass, but I call Mulligan. I call Mulligan. I know there's a rewind in here somewhere and I will use it. Because I'm a bitch. Ah, uh, the biggest bitch is me. Because I think I... Ah, that's probably it. I reactivated the rewind, so... Wait, wait, what am I doing? I can just reboot the core. I'm dumb. You see, I'm a- I'm a big baby. I'm a big bitch baby and I'm dumb. But to continue my thing as more things jump out at me and scream my name of anger and hell and cry havoc, annoy neon, I put the ROM through the randomizer program just because in the offhand chance in this, like, I don't even know, we might finish the Pokemon Crystal here in this stream. Probably not. 
It could go two more streams, it could go five billion, and I just realized Owl's here. I'm gonna have to get, uh, well, we'll keep Owl with us just a little bit. Because it might help with a certain little thing that we're going to do. Once again, part of me is kind of <laughs> underestimating the amount of clicks it requires. I find it funny my brain is just like, I need to go activate the rewind instead of just like, hey, bitch, you didn't, you, you didn't save. Just restart. <laughs> I'm a moron. But now that that's all over, yep, put a thing for the randomizer only to activate the nice ability that the randomizer has to disable trade Pokemon evolutions and just reset them to be a different thing, like leveling to like 37 or something. So if we still had Merlin with us as a predominant ally, we could have had an Alakazam. And I've already preemptively went and just like, okay, <laughs> fix that. Oh, that's cool. We actually see Ho-Oh's custom sprite. But here's the thing, if it works and I didn't break everything. Uh -huh. Neon, isn't it? Congratulations, as a special deal, a GS ball has been sent just for you. Please accept it. Now here's the thing. Well, let's we'll see if they have anything else to say. Please do come again. The GS ball was an event item. Well, not an, well, it's technically an event item, bibbidi bee. But it was released in Japan, but not in any other territory because they only had, like, the way the GS Ball, if I read it correctly, at least until the 3DS re release was only released in Japan through kind of an e card reader peripheral for the Game Boy. The only way to get the GS Ball and its related events was only through that little peripheral. And because that peripheral either didn't come out in other territories or just wasn't that successful, this event, even though it was made, it was localized, could not be accessed. So I put in a cheat code so that it, the event would occur. Because, screw it, I'm not gonna trade or Pokemon or fight Pokemon, this is an emulator. And it's not even like one of those things wonkily done so that it can actually connect to the official hardware. That's too much work to like, ha cheat in Pokemon. I just want to experience the game. But now that we have the GS Ball, hey Kurt, w what is that? I've never seen one before. It looks a lot like a Pokeball, but it appears to be something else. Let me check it for you. I'm checking it now. Aha, I see, so. I find it funny that you can walk away. <laughs> I'm checking it now. Aha, I see, so. God damn it, now what? I don't know what else. I thought it would be more grand. I'm guessing that we have to wait a day. Brarg. What? He's gone! Oh no, they moved. Did they move? Okay. Grandpa's checking a ball right now, so I'm waiting till he's done. Okay, I thought that the Slowpoke ate them. Yes? I'm checking it now. So, yep, it looks like we have to wait a day. The funny thing is, I just learned about a funny little thing you could do in Pokemon Gold and Silver where you could activate, like, a time manipulator. You could- that was in the actual game. But she's like, I want it now, Grandpa. Why can't I do it now? Don't care how I want it now. Yes, yeah, so we guess we're gonna have to wait a day like all the other Pokeballs. Giving me blue balls, because I thought things would happen. But oh well. Oh well. I guess we can go beat up some people. <laughs> Back. But I am annoyed. I thought we could do the thing, but the answer was no. No thing for me. So we're gonna go ahead. We're going to uh, swap out Owl, because I thought it would be nice to have Owl just in case. Because I don't know 
I don't exactly know what the event has to do. All I know is that it involves a Celebi. And I wanted to experience it, so I was just like, okay, just in case. Lower level Pokemon. And once again, just nothing for me. And I'll bring Entei just because he's a decent level and we can go smash up some more gyms. I'll need to remember what gyms we've done. I don't even know where to get that, uh... Oh, wait, I don't even need to do that. Because we're gonna take the monorail! 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 Also, shouldn't this building be on... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just like, I was gonna say, shouldn't this be on the right side so that people won't walk over the railing? But it doesn't really matter because you're going to... The train has to go somewhere to the left. So... I just think there might be a better place to put the train and have the train be so people don't walk across the rails. We hope to see you again. Let's see. I'm gonna dabble and see if we can find a way to look at my other badges. Nope. Let's see. Nope, there does not seem to be a way to look at the Kanto badges, which is a little mean. But let's take a look at my Pokey gear. That it is not Saturday. We have gone, and I believe, yeah, we've beat, beaten, I forget her name, Koga's daughter. We have not beaten Blaine. We're gonna have to bring out Scar out of retirement. Inte is going back into the box, oh no! Well, diddly dee dee dee. We have not been to Pallet Town. We have not been to Viridian City. Oh yeah, that's where- uh, I just got hit by memory thing, I'll just stay silent so I can talk about it when we get there. We've not been to Buter because we have to go through Cinnabar Island up through here. We haven't been through Mount Moon because Route 4 is kind of blocked off around Cerulean City, where we beat Misty. We haven't gone there though, which is up. We might want to- Oh yeah, there's that, but that's kind of far away and I don't remember. I just, just remember that technically, if we find Bill, we can give make him give us an Eevee. And I do adore Eevee, but it's kind of late game now. I keep missing content! <laughs> but yeah, uh, went through Cerulean City, beat Misty, fixed the thing so we could use the monorail. Vermilion City. We beat Lieutenant Surge. Yep, yep. Diddly D. Rock Tunnel. We went through Rock Tunnel because I was a silly. There's nothing in Power Plant anymore. Lavender Town, there's nothing really there. Radio Tower. Celadon City, we went and we did beat the Grass-type gym leaders, so all that's really left is to probably finish off any trainers on this area. Though I No, wait, we beat them up. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go left. We're going to go down Cycling Road, back to Fachusia City, maybe see if there's anything in the Safari Zone. There's probably nothing important. <laughs> And then we're gonna fly, well, not fly, we're gonna surf our way through the Seafoam Islands, onto Cinnabar, and if I remember correctly, Blaine isn't there, and we're gonna have to find him on a cave, because he decided to become a hermit, because he's a weirdo. And, uh, we'll see where we go from there. To, well, I was gonna say, to Cycling Road, but the actual answer is, to the Pokemon Center, so we can bring our Whirlpool and Waterfall HM slave out of retirement. Why must HMs hurt souls? So first off, Entei back into the box. I know, I know, Entei. It hurts, it hurts, because you're actually decent. But we need to bring Scar out, because I refuse to put Whirlpool and Waterfall on to Suicune. And even if we could, why were you why, why, why were you looking at me putting my Pokemon in a box? You're trying to look at my daddy Entei, how dare you? Voyeur. Call my lawyer. Yeah, now that that's, we're gonna go this way. Through Celadon. Through here. Oh yeah, the scary guy who wants to talk at night, but it's not night. Mm. We're gonna go through- well, let's see what he has to say. Cycling road starts here. It's all downhill, so it's totally exhilarating. It's a great sort of feeling. It can't get from a ship or train. You can't get from a ship or train. 
And we're gonna go ahead and save while here. Whoop, whoop. Still blue balled by freaking Kurt. Cycling road, downhill coasting all the way! Let's see. I forget, how do you... Couldn't you... I could have sworn there was a way to actually break and stop, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Hello, dude. Hey, you! You're from Johto, huh? Uh, great. He's a regionist. He wants to fight me, but he only has one Pokemon. Sent out Weezing. It, it's gonna explode. It's going to explode, and it's gonna hurt me. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had Suikunin first. Why do I have Suikunin first? It's screw it. Aurora Beam! I did grab Scar, right? <laughs> My memory is fucked. Good, it didn't use Explosion. Then again, I forget. When did they fix the, like, one 256 glitch? That glitch where a 100% accuracy move has a, 100 and a 1 in 256 chance of missing? Whoa, you kick! I'm gonna kick your bike into the river. Bitch. Oh yeah, it's because she's the lowest in yes, Scar. So yeah, we're gonna keep using our dearly beloved Suicune. That was giving me a vertigo. Fight me. Hey, wanna have a speed battle? Oh, the idea... You remember Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds? That Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, like, anime gimmick? Well, it wasn't really a gimmick because they didn't do it. And it didn't really do anything with it except in the anime and somewhat in the video game, but not really. Where... You, where... While playing Duel Monsters in-universe, they would r ride on these super motorcycles at high speed and you could lose either by losing the race or losing in Duel Monsters. And it's just like, something like that. Like, now just apply that to like a Pokemon battle. That would be cool. Critical hit! I... Maybe it made a difference because Weezing is kind of a... Weezing is kind of tanky. Magmar is gonna fucking die. <laughs> bye bye, Magmar. Not only did you get hit by a Pokemon that's 15 levels higher than you and is a legendary, it was with a super effective attack. Bye bye, Magmar. It's like Bye Bye Butterfree, except it was with a Magmar, and it's dead. Yikes, you've got some awesome torque. Please don't talk about my torque. I'd prefer it if you didn't. All right, now that we went that way, let's go here, because we want to fight everyone. We got to level up Suicune, especially because Blaine exists, and we're going to kick him off his island. I'm sorry, Blaine, but you have been kicked off the uh, the tribal council. Wow, that's a cool bicycle! I know it's uppercase because it's like the name of an item, but it just... It seems like he was yelling it at me. Wow, it's almost like you saw the other one just like, My Magmar's two, level higher's, <laughs> two levels higher than his Magmar. That means that my Magmar can totally beat Suicune. Also, is it Suicune or Suicune? I want to know. It's probably not that big of a hoopla, but it's just like, looking at it, you think it's Suicune, but at the same time, language is stupid. And there are so many letters that are just, I do not exist. You look at a word and you're like, ah, obviously, Wednesday. Why is Wednesday actually Wednesday? Where does the N go? Why does it like the N comes before the D, but in spelling, but you don't just look cool. I also kick ass. But yeah, it's just like... I'm trying to understand, man. I'm trying to understand. 
Oh, so it's the end anyway. Are there only three dudes? There's only three dudes. Two of them have Magmar. We're fearless highway stars. And I'm gonna kick your bike into the water. Biker Charles. All right, Charlie, I'm gonna send you home to the, the chocolate factory in a body bag. Body bag. Bye bye, coughing. Time to die. Biker Charles is about to use wheezing. We want to level up, Su Suicune. To my stupid uh, Eng uh, English speaking ears, it sounds like Suicune. When it's Suicune, I think. Maybe. Perhaps. Or maybe I'm overthinking it and just looking like a jackass. A Charmeleon! Charmeleon! War Turtle! That's like the only part of the pokey rap that I remember. <laughs> it's been five billion years, Charlie! Five billion years since I have heard the pokey rap! One hundred and fifty and more to see to be a Pokemon master is my destiny. Ah, crash and burn. Why is it still downhill from here? Why is your building building built on an axis but not? Cycling road uphill starts here. Hey, you want to fight? Cycling Road is a quick shortcut to Celadon. That's why I'm making sure that no one can get past. For I am the Cycling Road Bird Keeper, Bob! His name is actually Bob. Well, time to kill the Noctowl because my Noctowls failed me. Not terribly, but decently enough of failure, so Aurora Beam. Bye bye, a hey, knock towel. How dare you survive? How dare you pick the Suicune? You shall die! Get your unibrow out of here. Give me all your money. Birdkeeper Bob. Woo! That's all he has to say. Woo! Oh no, we're in a fight. Not a what is over here? I'm interested. The pollution's getting worse! Eh, screw it. Let's see how much experience we can get from this guy. Murder him! Clean up the muck! You're not Shyman, but you're close. Shyman sounds like a cleaning solution brand. I was coming to you! If you're looking for Pokemon, you have to look in the tall grass. Dude, you are in Fachusia City, in Kanto, after I have like 13 badges. I do not need you and your do-duo to tell me how Pokemon work. Freeze this flightless bird. What even? I'm going to tell you how Pokemon works after you've played this Pokemon game for 30 hours! I would be... I would be terrified to meet the person that would go this long and not know how tall grass works. Horrified to meet that monster. But I don't think the main reason I'd be horrified to meet that monster is because I do not think that monster exists. It would be like meeting Frankenstein's monster. You're like, oh god, you're here. I didn't think you'd be anywhere, but you're here. It's that kind of thing. How would anyone ever, even slightly, go 30 hours in a game and literally not know how the basic functions of a game function. Like, it's one thing to go through a game and maybe not know precisely how something works. Maybe? 
but to go through a Pokemon game for 30 hours and not know tall grass's function would be an achievement. You win the Nobel Prize of horror, fear, what even? Why? Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Wah. But now we're gonna walk around the top area. See if there's anything here. Any items, even though I don't really need the items, but I mean, we might as well look and talk to people. Hello there. The Safari Zone is closed. It's sad, considering it's Petrusia's main attraction. Oh, it's closed? Why is the mart behind? Why? We're gonna hide the mart behind a tree. How does a berry grow burnt? Like, not because a, a fire happened and it got mildly toasty. But you, why is it closed? The warden is... Oh. Bastard. Also, I guess that just gives them an out. <laughs> they don't need to program the Safari Zone in this game. Koga's daughter succeeded him as the gym leader after he joined the Elite Four. Which is neat. But I guess let's talk to the people in here. The Safari Zone Warden's granddaughter lives in town. Okay, stalker. I was hoping to buy some Safari Zone souvenirs, but it's closed. Welcome. How may I help you? Give me your soul. Your Siri. Max Repel. Don't care. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do I really have... I have a hundred thousand Pokey Dollars. I didn't realize that. I'm just gonna stock up. For fear. I'm not really, like, capturing any new Pokemon. Queen is the only, like, basically I have my legendary Pokemon that I might swap out now. And then, like... Queen. I have my starter, my legendaries, and then the queen. Fatruzia City. Behold, it's passion pink. There's a notice here. Safari Zone office is closed until further notice. Well, that's just sad. How could you do this, Warden? Now, how do we get to Cinnabar? No, seriously, how do we get to Cinnabar now? Because my Poke Gear says I should be able to go down. How do I go down? Here's the down. A tree. Please be careful if you are swimming to Seafoam Islands. Fatuzia Police. Why? Cinnabar's volcano erupted. Oh. It hurled boulders that cut off Route 19 indefinitely. I wonder if the people of Cinnabar are safe. It's been three years. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, this road is closed for construction. If you want to get to Cinnabar, you better go south from Pallet Town. How do I get through? I thought we couldn't. What? Who knows how long it would take to move this boulder. But I thought we could only... How do I go south from Pallet Town when I can't go through Cerulean? Did I miss something? Am I dumb? Am I biggest dumb boy? Am I the dumb dumb of the world? I think I am. Oh god. I am the dumb boy. <laughs> I thought I was playing Game Boy, but I was actually playing Dumb Boy. But yeah, there was, there, there, there's, there's no way of going up, was there? I thought there was no way of going up. Everything is going wrong! Hello, Mario LC. I started stream thinking that there was awesomeness on the horizon. I guess I can maybe, I guess we have to swim, we gotta surf and do things. Because first, I thought, aha, I shall experience this event through magic, and then, no, not allowed. Kurt is blue balling me again with the weights of days. 
And then I was like, fine, I shall go through Fatruzia to Pallet Town, or no, to Cinnabar. But now the volcano erupted, so now I need to find a way to Pallet Town. I thought I already went this way and saw that it was impossible. But perhaps I'm just the big dumb. You're not even worth killing, be gone. That is the real question. The only way to get to Cinnabar is by going down from Pallet Town. Hmm. If I cannot find a way through... I'm trying to think. I need to be able to get to Mount Moon. But how? doesn't seem to be a way to go left here at any point. Then maybe through the Pokemon League? Because that's the only bridge left. The only one. I'm not here for you. I'm, I need to go down. Oh, I'm to go through the freaking victory road. Well, go through Victory Road. Technically. Hello, Onyx. It's too late for you. I have too many things. I mean, I, th I guess I could try and kill you. How good's your Rock Smash, Hotspot? Still terrible. Now let's see how good your Flame Wheel is against Rock, even though it resists it. Your special is stronger than your nor your attack, so let's see. Don't you just love it when something that's super effective does less damage than a not very effective attack? How much more of this do I have to endure? I don't know. Honestly. Depends on how certain things go and how many more twists this game throws at me. I don't remember everything. It's just like, oh yeah, these certain fights happen, and this small thing is there. And then I forget, oh yeah, the volcano erupted, and that one way that I thought you were supposed to go is blocked off. So the answer is, we may never know. We could have um, 500 more episodes of this. We shall not fight you, Graveler. You're not worth killing. Especially if I get lost, it's like, going through this the normal way is one thing. Trying to leave is something else. Maybe I should see if I have some repels. It would be amusing if we could go and beat up Brock with a fire Pokemon. Ah, critical hit, though. Maybe did something, I don't know. My critical hits either do nothing, usually do nothing. Yeah, this leads nowhere. I forgot to check for repels. Short-term memory is not for me. Be gone, grabby hands. Also, if Graveler becomes Golem, where does its other arms go? I, I do have some Max Repels. Yay! Let's just try and get out of here. Escape damnation. Wait, what am I doing? That's probably the quickest thing. I just saw, I was like, oh yeah, over there exists. And here's a thing that leads there. But I forgot, you can't get here. So this obviously has to be the... Quick escape. Ish. But not really. I don't know. It's been five billion years. This place is twisty and twiny. And we escaped. Can I go through you? Off to the Pokemon League, are you? No, I already went there. The Elite Four are so strong, it's scary, and they're ready for you. Why can't I go by you? This way leads to Mount Silver. You'll see scary, strong Pokemon out there. Not if you're blocking the way. Pokegear. 
All right, so actually we already crossed by where? Okay. So the answer is I'm kind of fucked. How do I get to, how do I get anywhere? Might have to look that up. Because if we go through... So yeah, it's probably just a weird way of marking... So the map isn't 100%. body of water? Yes, I know. How do I... Is there a body of water? Maybe I can escape through here. Also, did you take a break yesterday? Yes, I did. Nope, can't escape through there. The horror. Hmm. You know, I just felt like I uh, wanted to have like a nice relaxing dinner yesterday, so it's just like, yeah, relax. Trying to think. Because the only way. Is either through Victory Road, but apparently you, those guys only go away when you come through there, so they can't be through there. Why? Game, why? Guess let's go back to Cerulean. <laughs> Emotes are still a billion points, but editing and getting them, no points at all. <laughs> it's the ultimate capitalistic gamble. Is the answer. I'll make one more run around. No, it all ends there, so screw it, time to look it up. Cause I'm probably just being dumb. But when I'm being dumb, we must consult the knowledge of the internet. Diglett Cave. But that means that we probably have to beat up Snorlax, and I need to get that thing, so. Now I have to be like, how do we get the thing to play the music on the radio? Because that's a card, apparently. Unless I already got it. Nope, no radio. The radio is dead. What killed the radio star? Me. But now we shall let the music play. As I look for the answers to all my problems. Yeah, they just say, go to the radio tower, but they talked to the people at the radio tower, and they said, oh yeah, you need that, and none of them gave it to me. I think the game is playing silly bollocks with me. I don't appreciate it. 
Hey, radio people, I thought I'd talk to all of you. Give me. Many people are hard at work in the radio tower. They must be doing their best to put on shows. Well, I didn't hear anything. Hey, lady, feel free to walk around anywhere on this floor. Man, what do you have to say? Ah, so you're the neon who solved the power plant's... Oh, that's why. I talked to them before I fixed the power plant. And now that I fixed the power plant, they will give it to me. Understood. Thanks to you, I never lost my job. I tell you, you're a real lifesaver. Please, take this as my thanks. There we go. With that thing, you can tune into the radio programs here in Kanto. <laughs> Hey there, I'm the Super Music Director. I'm responsible for the gorgeous melodies that go out over the air. Don't be square, grab your music and off the air. But okie doke. I completely forgot that that guy was just like, Oh no, the power plant isn't working, and if it isn't working, then I don't have a job. Completely forgot that that was even a f thing. But okie doke, now we'll go wake up Snorlax, catch him probably. And then go through Diglett Cave of nightmares and dreams. Did I ever go in here? I think I go. I mean, it's probably just a—it's probably just another guru. No, it's not a guru. Hello, dude. Over many years, Diglett dug a large tunnel. That tunnel goes to a distant town. <laughs> completely forgot that Diglett Cave existed. Like, completely. I don't even think I went through it. First things first. We're gonna save just in case. I mean, it's not a tragedy if we don't get Snorlax, but I just, I prefer to. He's snoring peacefully. Then if I put on my radio. Or not. Oh, there we go. Peace and people. Fight me. The Poke Gear was placed near the sleeping Snorlax. Snorlax woke up! And now is in a murderous rage. Well, not so murderous, because it can't even get up. It's level 50. Eh, actually, not that bad, all things considered. If it weren't for the fact that I might want uh, others on my team, I might actually bring you along. Especially because we already have... Well, the Pims, can you learn Surf? If you can learn Surf, maybe I'll bring you along. Let's see, what moves? Eh, just flame wheel him, flame wheel him. Wheel and deal. Until we can uh, throw a gr an ultra ball at him. Oh yeah. We can use it in attacks while asleep. And has leftovers. I forgot they made Snorlax a bit annoying. But not terrible, all things considered. Lots of defense, though. Hmm. I wonder if Snore only activates periodically, or if it's something like Hyper Beam. It's like, since you are asleep, we're not just going to let you. Oh god, it's using Rollout, so if it does it again and again and again, it's gonna do tons of damage to my boy. And it's using freaking... The leftovers! No! Quit sleep eating, it's not healthy! Well, you're not. Well, you were sleep eating, but you're currently not. Alright, since we're gonna be catching you. I guess. What even is rollout? I guess we'll send out. S. Screw it, we'll send out Ho-Oh. Wait. Because I think, is it a ground move? No, it's not a ground move. Is it a ground move? It might be a rock move, but I think it's a ground move. Screw it, let's see. Let us play the game, Billy! Nope, it still hits! Jesus Christ! I just want to catch you, and you're just making me want to kill you. Why is rollout a thing? 
I know I'm doing it bad because it's just gonna keep using rollout and rollout's going to get harder and harder. What a nightmarish little monster. That's why we saved. Yay, it's partly paralyzed. Still gonna kill my dudes, though, because he's a mean boy. We shall send out Queen. Sacrificial Queen. How dare you get your leftovers in, anyway? Eating between rounds? How distasteful. Because it, be, it would be nice to have the Snorlax. But at the same time, you're making me really want to kill you. Because you have frickin'... Your bullshit rollout move. Flinch him! Flinch him, or <laughs> kill him, maybe. Oh yeah, I forgot! So rest is an annoying move that's just like, actually, we're just going to completely ignore everything. Because he's a bitch. You know what, you little, you, you dick? You asshole. You fuck. I no longer care about taking you alive. I still find it shenanigans that rest can cure status effects. With a nice sleep, I will just, uh, get rid of my poison. But yeah, simply put, if Queen goes down, Ho-Oh has kill a license to kill on you. Telling you right now, Snorlax. You kill Queen. Or maybe we'll just get to the point that you struggle to death. In which case, your leftovers will kind of heal you of your recoil. Also think that rest should not heal 100%. Because these are just shenanigans. Why can't we flinch him so that he can't use his leftovers? If he's too busy flinching, he can't even eat! Flawless plan! Also kind of wish that rest sleep functioned more like old Generation 1 sleep in which it was random. Ah, it's dead. I don't care. You were too much trouble. Bye-bye. I accept this outcome. If it weren't for... Sure, if my... If I didn't have a good normal type like Queen, I would probably be lamenting. But no. I have a good normal type. So I do not mourn that at all! And I just do not feel like putting my Pokémon in the line of fire of a Snore, Rest, and Rollout. Like, honestly, Rollout is the deal breaker there. He has Rest, he has Leftovers, he can fight while asleep. No, I can deal with that. Maybe. But freaking... Rollout? No. Goodbye, Snorlax. No one will miss you. Like, if I really wanted to go hard on completing the Pokedex, maybe, sure. But no. A bunch of Diglett popped out of the ground. That was shocking. It's called Diglett Cave! It's been here for three years! At least! You fool! Right, we don't need to... Promo's just like, I oh, maybe I'll put a Ho-Oh on, and Ho-Oh can level up. Ho-Oh doesn't need to level up. Ho-Oh doesn't need to level up right now. Into the cave we go, and on my bicycle we row. I don't think I have Max Repel on. Well, no Diglets for me! And now I'm over here! At Route 2! And it's playing creepy music. I can't carry any more items, but it's a Carbos! It does things! Like things! And things is good! Honestly, I don't fear burn. I fear no burn. 
about Carbos. Carbos has use. We can use Carbos. Also, can we all just have a moment of silence for the polka flute economy? In which the poor, poor days of having to have a polka flute for yourself are over. Anyone, anywhere can have polka flute. And the skill of playing a polka flute to make a Snorlax rage into murder is no longer here. Hi! Wow, I'm glad to see you. You're the first visitor I've had in a long time. Probably three years. I'm super happy. Let me give you a little present. He gave me a nugget. That's a nugget. I can't give you any nuggets of wisdom, so that'll have to do. I already have so much money. And there's a door. Hello, dude. Are you Neon? I work as Professor Oak's aide. I had no idea that you were out here. Professor Oak's lab is nearby in Pallet Town. Lots of trees. Lots of trees. Gib. I got an elixir. And I guess I'll go all the way back up so I can go through and fight all those dudes, level up someone. Yeah, we already went up that way, so we shall exit through this way. So we can fight everyone! Ah, Pure City! I guess we'll do this place first. Hmm. I guess I have three Pokemon that's decent here. Queen, Suicune, and Scar, even though Scar's gonna be kind of low level. But let's talk to everybody. At night, Clefairy come out to play at Mount Moon, but not every night. A hundred percent of the time, the Clefairy come out, but only fifty percent of the time. You idiot. I like snoozing with the radio on. Oh no, he died. Does that mean I get his house? I, I like claim to his house. Hey, kid. Most Pokemon get drowsy if they hear a Jigglypuff singing. There are several moves that can be used only while a Pokemon is asleep. And none of them were in Generation 1, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, and then the gym in Cinnabar is gone. I was really amazed. Yes, I'm on the phone. Go away. Hi, I'm looking for this Pokemon. If you have Haunter, would you trade it for my Zatu? N no, I don't think so. But I shall heal my Pokemon. I do have a Ghastly, but I don't feel like leveling up my Ghastly. It, it just disappointed me far too much. I still think that ghost moves should hit normal types, because it's just like it makes sense. Otherwise, it's like a mutually exclusive damnation. Normal types can't hit ghosts, and ghosts can't hit normal types. It's weird. Pewter City, a stone gray city. It's a city that is a city. That is what you said. City is city. Hello, dude. I said hello, dude. Ah, you came all the way out here from Johto. That brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Johto to train you. Remind me so much of what I was like as a young man. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto. Now we can beat up Lugia. And have another Water-type Pokémon! Have you visited Pewter Gym? The leader uses Rock-type Pokémon. Good for him. There's a notice here. Pewter Museum of Science is closed for the renovations. Everywhere of interest from the previous game is closed. Well, I guess it's time to beat up Brock. Yo, champ in the making, you're really rocking. Are you battling the gym leaders of Kanto? They're strong and dedicated people, just like Johto's gym leaders. You're talking as if this is the first time that we've fought a gym leader in Kanto, even though uh, I'm pretty sure Brock is going to be the next to last gym leader that we smiggity smack up. Hey, light your boy. The trainers of this gym use Rock-type Pokémon. The Rock-type has high defense. Battles could end up going a long time. Are you ready for this? Kid, I have Suicune. I'm gonna beat you up. And you only have one Pokémon. 
Well, he did level up his sand shrew. So that is a, an increase. Surf. They have a high defense, so battles can go on for a long time. Yeah, and what about special attacks? Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Baby, bye-bye-bye. I have to win these battles. Why? Do you get paid for... Well, I guess you do kind of get paid for winning. Hello! Wow! It's not often that we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the pewter gym leader. I'm an expert on rock-type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on! Once again, I have water types. And a normal type that uses water. But you also have a ton more Pokemon than before, so good on that. Good right there. Hello, grabby hands. I'm gonna kill you with a furret because it knows how to make a wave of water exist. Something like... Blastoise, that makes sense. It can send out a bunch of water and then make a wave. Other water type Pokemon, I guess, but a furret? Where does the water come from? <laughs> I use rock type Pokemon. And I have a variety of Pokemon. One that's. I st Why? Who's just like. Where. I guess it's because they might be like, hmm. Maybe people are sick of Water-type Pokémon and want to use, like, a bunch of Pokémon from the starting area. Let's make it so one of them knows the ability Surf if you put an HM on it. Oh, he knows Omastar? Huh. Well, I guess he is next to Mount Moon. Like, he is next to Mount Moon. He's at the science lab where... Wait, no. The resurrections happen on Cinnabar. Well, I guess I'll headbutt you. But you're Rock-type. Yeah, you're Rock-type and Water-type. I guess I could just use Surf because then you won't actually... Because you're part Rock-type, so the water will do normal damage because you're not as... Because your Water-type advantage is cancelled out by your Rock disadvantage, so it just does normal damage. Works for me. Bye-bye, ocean. Oh no! It's using surf on me! Oh no. Well, that's not good at all! How would that work? Water plus rock. You annoy me! You monster! You monster! I'm gonna send out Suicune. Rock beats out air, so Gust is worthless. I guess we'll just keep... I'll bubble beam you to death, I guess. Time for the battle, because it's rock and water. Why would you ever make rock and water? I guess you would take double damage from grass type. But I don't have any grass types. Isn't this also another rocket water? I at least know that it can use surf, or at least I suspect it can use surf. But hey, let's see. Maybe it's another furt situation. It, it can no Giga Drain? Why does it can no Giga Drain? What? <laughs> Brock, your Pokemon confound me. But that also amuses me. It's about to use Onix! You know, the best Pokemon. He doesn't even have a Steelix. I guess it kind of makes sense, because then the one lady from Johto would be like, He's infringing on my steel copyright! But at the same time, he had a water Pokemon, and whatever the hell Kabutox has, that makes it just normal, probably once again, water rock. 
Your Pokemon's powerful at attacks overcame my rock-hard defense. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, and take this badge. And lots of money. I received the Boulder Badge. Neon, thanks. I enjoyed battling you. Even though I am a bit upset, that Boulder Badge will make your Pokemon even more powerful. He didn't give me a TM, huh? Well, we're gonna stay at the Pokemon Center, heal up our Pokemon, then go down to Diddly Dee. I forget. But I'll wonder if the Pokemon gym down there will actually be open. Because in Generation 1, the 8th gym leader was Giovanni. And he went into training, as Team Rocket said. He disbanded Team Rocket. So I wonder what will be next. If you walk in tall grass wearing shorts, do you get nicks and cuts? Depends on the grass. And what's in the grass. I still find it hilarious that it's just like, you kind of go from generation one to generation two and then find all these trainers that obviously like seem to have three years of experience with their Pokemon. It amuses me. Bug Catcher Ed. Kill the Ed. Go back to Ed and Eddie, Ed. Your scams will not get me. Trying to learn amnesia. I think that just increases stats and bleh. Why increase stats when you can just kill? About to send out a bee drill. Bee drill. Do bugs resist electricity? Considering bug zappers exist, I'm going to hedge my bets and say no. But you never, never know. Spark. Bug zappers exist. You'd think that it would be super effective, but at the same time, bug type has so little advantages. It would probably be a bit of a dick move to just go ha de ha. <laughs> Take that bug type. You're weak to nine billion things. Because <laughs> honestly, one of the things that Bug-type is strong against is Psychic. And most of the Bug-types are Poison-type subtypes, so they just get annihilated in battle by Psychic-types anyway. Hello, small child. Why don't girls like Bug-Pokemon? That's sexist, little Jimmy. Girls can like Bugs. Doug. It's just that you're probably basing all your assumptions on Misty, and that's just not okay. Not okay at all, little Dug Dug. How dare you still survive? You dare scratch the queen? You scratch the queen? This will not stand. Cut him up with a tiny knife. You just see a ferret draw a sword and go, Oh, am I, Mishideru? Nobody knows what the queen said with the tiny knife. Everyone was just too scared to ask. And life went on. With a little bit more fear than before, but life did go on. My buck Pokemon are tough. Prepare to lose. You see, that that is a, a logical fallacy. Bug Pokemon cannot be strong. Come to think of it, are there e is there even a legendary bug type? 
Is there even a legendary bug type? I don't think there is. I just do not think that there is a single legendary bug type. Then again, what kind of legendary bug type would there be? Mothra? Coming to Pokemon near you! Mothra! I know it's not very scientific, but through the fairies, we can contact Mothra. <laughs> Ask her to be in Pokemon. I was whipped. Never say that, small child. Do not say that ever again. Or I will give you some actual whip. And a nay nay. Hey kid, I just had a double shot of espresso. And I am wired! I need to talk to you some. Talk to someone, so you'll have to do. I might not look like much now, but I was an expert at catching Pokemon. Did you believe me? Sure, dude. Good, good, yes. I was something out of the ordinary, let me tell you. Except in Pokemon Yellow, in which you can't. He fails to catch the first Pokemon. Do you put a lot of thought into naming your Pokemon? Not really. Giving them good nicknames adds to the fun of trading with others. <laughs> hey, other person. <laughs> you cannot change this Pokemon's name. You can never change this Pokemon's name. Its name is forever this, and if you try and change it, you're a bad person. <laughs> Weirdness. And magic. Let's talk to you. <laughs> They're Speary and Spearow. And Radia Radita. Oh, Speary the Spiro and Ratty the Ratata. Why would you name your Pokemon that? Like I get it. You're like, eh. Yeah, yeah. Trainer House. The club for top trainer battles. Are all the happening happens haps here? Welcome to Trainer House, the newest and most happening place in Viridian. We're open to trainer only. You can battle against the best of the best right downstairs. Huh. Kinda don't care. Ooh, I'm taking a rest from Pokemon battles. Ah, there's a Pokemon thing here. They hold practice downstairs. I would love to see how well a trainer from Johto battles. Well, too bad. I'm probably not gonna do much. There's too much I must do. Everything. I guess you can't become the champ unless you go all over the place and battles all ki and battle all kinds of people. The champion from Palette traveled to all the cities and towns in Kanto. And yet here I am, the most magical person, because I am traveling all over Kanto and I came from Johto. That makes me super special. I am the specialist trainer to ever exist. And you will all know it. I wonder if that's why Viridian is the place of the Trainer Club. Because it's nearby Pallet Town. This is the first town that the train from Pallet came from. I heard that the gym in Cinnabar is gone. I wonder what became of Blaine, the gym leader. Uh, <coughs> uh, probably became a hippie. My dream is to become a gym leader. Good luck on that, kid. Where in the world is Viridian's gym leader? I wanted to challenge him. Where is he? <laughs> Blair burned to death. Easy. Nah, he lived too close to a volcano. And he just... <laughs> cannot be burned. What you gotta say, old man? This gym didn't have a leader until recently. A young man from Pallet became the leader, but he's off and away. I guess me. More than likely, we'll have to go to Pallet Town. Let's see. Can we go in? Huh. This place is all changed up. Yep, he's not here. <laughs> nah, just like Giovanni. The Viridian gym leader is always gone. You want to challenge the Viridian gym leader? You don't get to. You don't get to. Welcome to Route 1, where it all began. Pokemon should be like level 500 here. Yeah, it's just another Rattata, unless it's level 500. It's level 2 Rattata. The legendary Pikachu came from here. I doubt it. Da, da, da. If trainers meet, the first thing to do is a battle. 
it's a disguise. The old man is the leader, and the trial to get it, to get the badge is to figure out, you're actually the gym leader. That would actually be kind of funny. It's been gone forever. You lie. You're the gym leader. How did you know? It's because I am genre aware. The truly original ability. Genre awareness. And I will not send out my Suicune to die at the hands of an Electabuzz. I'll instead send out Hotspot. Burn the Electabuzz. Burn it to death! Yay! Electabuzz is dead! The town did cheer. The goblin monster had been defeated. Ooh, Magmar. You do have good uh, type varieties, small Danny. You have fire, electricity, and ice instead of water. It's like a twisted starter set. How did you get them? Did you steal them, Danny? Where did you steal them from, you little shit? Where did you get them? Schoolboy Danny died, and no one mourned. I've got a losing record. Damn right. I am the best Pokemon trainer. Now fight me! You there, want a battle? Don't cry for what you asked for. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with just a taste of what you paid for. Oh no, it's Harley Quinn! Oh no! Who wins in this scenario? Kill it with electricity! Make an electric plant. Electric pant. Raikou will kill you, no matter what, why? Because he's a very determined boy. Raikou also doesn't fear death because he's already died. It's canon, it's a legend, but it's canon. How dare you try to, you, how dare you try to put him to sleep? He's already died once. You bastard dinosaur flower man. Be gone, get out of here. He's about to use Starmie. Yeah, well, I guess you can stay out there. I was gonna be like... <laughs> Hotspot was, did not get his murder of a, of a grass type, but Raikou will get his murder of a Starmie. And even though it wasn't redeemed, remember everyone, stay hydrated. Drink Starmie tears for hydration. Down and out. But I got all your money! <laughs> what does this say? Route 1. Palatown, the Viridian City. Red's house. He's famous! Blue's house. He's also famous. Hello there. Hi, my kid brother is the gym leader in Viridian City. But he goes out of town so often it causes problems for the trainers. Even Giovanni wasn't that mean. Well, at the same time, Blue- wait, Blue had to have beaten Giovanni. He became champion. But when Red beat Giovanni, he's like, I have to give up. I'm raising Pokemon too. They serve as my private guards. Well, you sound crazy. I'm invading your home. Hi, Red's been away for a long time. He hasn't called either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's doing. They say that no word is a proof he's doing fine, but I do worry about him. They say no word is proof that he's doing fine? <laughs> what? In 60- I'm, I'm playing on Reds in 64. They say no news is a sign that they're fine? Technology is incredible! You can now trade Pokemon across time like email! We are playing God. Hello, Aid. P aid to uh, Professor Oak. The, the Professor's Pokemon Talk radio program isn't aired here in Kanto. It's a shame. I'd like to hear it. 
Thanks to your work on the Pokedex, the professor's research is coming along great. And another aid. Don't tell anyone, but Professor Oak's Pokemon talk isn't a live broadcast. <laughs> ah, Neon, it's good of you to come all this way to Kanto. What do you think of the trainers out there? Pretty tough, huh? Ah, you're collecting Kanto gym badges. I imagine that's hard, but the experience is sure to help you. Come see me when you get them all. I'll have a gift for you. Keep trying hard, Neon. How's your Pokedex coming? Let's see. Current Pokedex completion level. I don't own that many. Hey, you're getting good at this, but you have a long way to go. If you're in the area, I hope you come by to visit. And I guess we have to go all the way. I guess it's kind of mirroring uh, Kanto that way. We have to go beat Blaine before we can fight Blue at the Viridian Gym. It's the Bats of the Sea! Well, yeah, the, I, the, the, level, the, level, the level speaks out. I just remembered. Pallet Town doesn't have a Pokemon Center. Oh no. I should probably run from Pokemon battles a bit more. I mean, I guess I could run. I mean, uh, fly back and come back because and beat people in there. If I win, you have to help me with my suntan lotion. Stranger danger is child. It's like that's all that is to say. What? What? Just a random like what? 13 year old swims by on a furret and you're like, hey, suntan lotion. Lady, what's wrong with you? Are you mad? Do you want the Ginnies to come and beat you up with their motor scooters of water power? What? Like there's nothing else to say. Sometimes these introductions to battles are just what? <laughs> oh no, it's a dual gong. He's gonna die. Bye bye, dual gong. We don't need a club for you, and now you are dead. Sad news today in Cinnabar Wreckage. I'm worried about sunburn. I'm worried about my safety around you! Almost made me forget that I was gonna swap in Queen! <laughs> yes, he's mad. I'm always mad. We're all quite mad here. The world's mad. My Pringles are mad. Why is there no one on the platform? She kills the fisherman! She is not a... Oh no. On the one hand, it's decent experience. On the other hand, it's poison. On the other, other hand, I want to save my power points. Bye-bye, tentacruel. Hello, fish dude. I'm bored by fishing. Let's battle! With the fish that he just caught. Take your butts now! Will it be a fucking Magikarp? No, oh, it's a Tentacruel! Fair! From where it is... Headbutt the Tentacruel! Flinch the Squid! Or, you know, just kill. That works too. Hey Arnold! Go home! Arnold is a failure, fisherman. What am I doing? I can, I, can, I, can, I can use Max Repel. I have like six of them still. I am a fool! This is also another... Just kind of calling back 
Because, like, I've just been, like, my brain was going back to how we got here. And then I was just like, where do I go? What do I do? That's the one downside to, like, streaming a game instead of just playing it. Land ho! Gotta keep going. I am not a land ho! How dare you! But that's the one downside to be like, I'm gonna play a game and then swap between games on stream. Because then you forget certain little things. Like, I went to the radio tower. Just be like, hey, what's this radio tower? And they do say a thing. Oh, no! The diddly D. The power of the PowerPoint presentation. And then, obviously, leading you to assume if you do something with the PowerPoint presentation, you fix it, that they'll give you a thing. But then if you go five billion years, and you do the thing, and you don't go back, your brain goes mush. Kill the octopus, even though it only has four tentacles. How dare you blow bubbles at the queen. The only bubbles fit for the queen is during her bath time. Die into calamari with you. Gotta feed the queen calamari. Kill the quagsire. He is no king, so he must die. Do not slam at the queen! Slamming the queen is bad juju. Swimmer Seth has been defeated. Glug. Ah, he died. And everyone rejoiced. And there will be no news of your fate. Which is a problem. <laughs> Apparently, it's good news! Cinnabar Island. It's all dead. But there's a Pokemon Center here, what? <laughs> there's a notice here. Cinnabar's gym has relocated to Seafoam Islands. Blaine. And there's a Pokemon Center here? There are people here? It's been a year since the volcano erupted. And you're still here? Cinnabar's gym of Blaine apparently lives alone in the Seafoam Islands cave. That guy's dedicated. Hello, welcome to our Pokemon Center of Doom! Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. Well, let's read this notice. Oh, hey! Red? I think that's Red. Center by Island. The fiery town of burning desire. Who are you? Well, it's plain to see that you're a trainer. My name's Blue. I was once the champion, although it was only for a short time. And that meddling red did me in. Anyway, what do you want? You want to challenge me or something? I hate to say it, but I'm not in the mood for a battle now. Take a good look around you. The volcano erupts and just like that, the whole town disappears. We can go on winning and losing in Pokemon. But if nature so much as twitches, we can lose in a second. Ah, that's the way it is. But, anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle, come to the Viridian Gym. I'll take you on, then. Imagine the Pokemon champion is just like, I don't feel like battling right now. Come back later. Well, I guess it's more like because he's out here and not actually at his gym that it's a bit more acceptable. He can't really be like, no, I don't feel like battling when he's at his gym. But when he's out in the public, it's kind of like, no, I don't want to give you an autograph. Go away. Go away! <coughs> I guess it's impossible to swim all the way to Johto. Not with that attitude. Bitch. He only, he only knows he only has one Pokemon. He only has a Meryl. We're gonna have to kill his Meryl. A Meryl, Meryl. Time to die. I swear if you live. Good. That only you couldn't even give me 420 experience. You had to give me 421. <laughs> die, what do you mean this isn't no copypasta? Everyone will die. 
everyone. Everyone dies eventually, like all those people on Cinnabar Island. Not all of them could get out. What does this sign say? Cinnabar Gym Leader Blaine. Hey! Pokemon, uh, gym guy. Are you here? <laughs> I would love it if you were. I mean, people in Pokemon die all the time in the Pokemon universe. Lieutenant Surge brags about using his Voltorbs to torture people and probably uses his electrodes as landmines. And the funny thing is, landmines are technically illegal in current warfare. Electrodes would be legal because they can decide to explode on command and are not a, a, just diddly D. Oh wow, you're just here. This guy's dedicated. Your fire Pokemon are gonna die. I'm gonna throw him into a volcano. Where is the volcano? We've never even seen the volcano. I think Blaine just went off the deep end. Okay, Suicune, time for destruction. Wah! My gym and Cinnabar burned down. My fire-breathing Pokemon and I are homeless because of the volcano. Wah! Wah! But I'm back in business as a gym leader, here in this cave. If you can beat me, I'll give you a badge. Ha! You better have Burn Heal. Don't they also self-destruct if they get too stressed? Maybe. <laughs> it's... it's old Dr. Eggman! But I could definitely say... Definitely see... A Pokemon that can explode... Explode when it gets too stressed. Use Bubble Beam. Put out the flame of the Mag Cargo. Even though the Mag Cargo is like hotter than the surface of the sun, but don't worry about it. Leader Blaine is about to use Magmar. Mag Mag Magmar. Mag 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 Magmar. Bubble Beam. <laughs> you ever just be a gym leader? And the bubbles defeat your Pokemon in one shot. Just a horde of bubbles. Oh god, it lived. Oh god, it's sunny day. In a cave. Where is the sunlight coming from? Did he, did he install a sunroof in the cave? I didn't see any in the overworld. But what do I know? I exist is about to use Rapidash. How would a horse fare on an island? Like, if you put a horse on an island, would like it, would it get stressed? Because it's like looking around, it's just like, I'm on an island and I'm a horse. I don't think it would be good for the horse. It just stares out into the ocean and be like, help. <laughs> Not the fury attack with the horn. God, that... The Rapidash must be stabbing really fast with its horn. Make the horse flinch. Yay! <laughs> I love it. I see. You are a man of healing as well. I'm going to make your horse flinch again. All the way to the... Wow, it just died. You see, that's what it kind of, it's kind of like for me sometimes. I'm just like, I'm healing, and then they do a ton of damage. Just like, I can't out-heal the damage. Awesome. I've burned out. You've earned the Volcano Badge! You know, Volcano, like the one that destroyed your gym. That must really give you comp... Flex? Who's behind me? I did lose this time, but I'm going to win next time. When I rebuild my Cinnabar gym, we'll have to have a rematch. Okay, dude, who are you? 
Yo! Huh? It's over already? Sorry, sorry. Cinnabar's gym it was gone, so I didn't know where to find you. But hey, you're plenty strong, even without my advice. I knew you'd win. I'm just happy that he's here. <laughs> he found me! He cares about my journey! Well, time to go to Viridian. Heal. <laughs> X to doubt. Probably to the, let's have a rematch for next time I'll win. Next time, he'll rebuild his gym in the volcano to flex on the volcano. Yeah, volcano, you destroyed my gym, but now I'm back, and I'm inside you. Yeah, that Blaine would is the type of dude to do that. You gotta admire his determination. Hey, old man, what you gotta say? Are you going to battle the gym leader? Good luck to you. You'll need it. Whoa ha ha! Because the funny thing is, he doesn't. Well, is there a sign? Let's read the sign. Let's read. The, oh wait, won't actually tell me its type. Let's see what the gym guy has to say. Hey, gym guy, how'd you get here so fast? What flying Pokemon do you use? Yo, champ in the making. How's it going? Looks like you're on a roll. The gym leader is a guy who battled the champion three years ago. Why are there Legos right next to us? He's no pushover. Give it everything you've got! Didn't even tell me his type. Probably because he doesn't have a type. His type is everything. He just throws Arceus out. His type is everything! Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? <laughs> Johto's gyms must be pretty pathetic then. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're good or not by bowing you right now. Ready, Johto champ? Let's go! Battle against former champion Blue! Pidgeot! Ah, now that's a hefty bird right there. The experience I'll get from you will be grand. Flame Wheel! Burn it out of the sky! Now imagine if Johto was actually pathetic. I mean, considering uh, that all the Kanto gyms are of a higher level than the Johto gyms, except for maybe the Dragon Gym, yeah. But it's mo mostly just because, for whatever reason, the these gyms have had like three years to grow. But at the same time, one guy has been a gym leader for years, so I don't know. What? Oh yeah, I'd use the mirror thing. This is gonna suck. Well, actually, it didn't suck all that much. Ha ha! Ha ha! Yeah, funnily enough, that's an aerial move. The, like, I'm gonna copy your move and throw it back at you. Because I think it's like something bird, god bird, or no, that's not. God bird's a different move. But yeah, basically, in in Japanese language, it's called something different. Go, Suicun! You must level up! Destroy his Rhydon! Right on. Head on. What was that laugh? I don't know. At this point, my brain is running a mile a minute. She's like, okay, I gotta say things. And then there's also Kurt. He's messing with my GS ball! And then it's also, I'm also battling this guy. What typing should I use? Ha ha ha. Funny facts. Random factoid brain. Give me information. So, my memory is like, dead. Executor, huh? Time to feed the hot spot. The face on the right is horrifying. Kill! Burn down the tree. <laughs> Not the leech seed, the leech sod. He seeded my pod spot. Now he'll torrent it all over the pirate's bay. At least I think that's how it works. 
You can try and heal, but this critical hit will kill you. It didn't crit. I'm sad now. How dare you eat the soul of my Pokemon? Luckily, you're too slow, you stupid tree. You coconut tree with a disturbing face on the right. How do eggs become coconuts anyway? And of course, now it crits. The one time I don't need it to crit is the one that it crits. Gyarados. Raikou. <gasps> Wait. It's flying and... Flying and water, so electricity should work. My brain... I was thinking uh, when I went... Oh, <laughs> my brain was thinking like, Oh, ice. I should do thing against water, but it doesn't. Sadness. But now, four times weakness to electricity. Bye-bye, Gyarados. Oh, God, it lived. Oh, just gonna rain dance? Rain dance against an electric type? Please don't heal the Gyarados. Ah! I knew he was gonna do that. Don't know exactly why, because it's like you're gonna die. My move, I move faster than you. Although, Blue has to go very fast to heal his Pokemon before I can hit him. Little do we all know, all trainers are like, another critical hit wasted! Oh! Every single time I get a crit, it's always when they're about to die anyway! Where? Obviously, this means that we must throw out Queen Headbutt the Psychic Man! Don't you squint at me! You ugly man with a weird... What even would your skull look like? I think it looks weird. Headbutt him! No, it's faster! I'm gonna suffer psychic again! No! Maybe I should have brought Merlin. I should have brought... Oh, God. It's very... It does a lot of damage. No! Oh, I was gonna hope it was gonna crit. Bye-bye, queen. You're gonna die. Play a song for Queen. Oh, no. Well, it's nice to know even the NPCs can get bad RNG. Raikou, you're the fastest. Kill this Alakazam, and I swear if it gets a psychic off before I can ever kill. No, why are you so fast? Raikou is supposed to be the fastest of them all. The one ring of speed. No, he got a crit. Why did he get two crits in a row? You bitch. Seriously, two crits in a row? Whoa, you fast boy! Why is he so fast? Why? Does Psychic just go first? Oh no. Well, do we have a... F I don't think we have a full revive. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. But I should have some revive. Do should I have revive? Where are my revives? I have revives here. Yay! Um, because I don't want to rely. <laughs> Crit! It would be funny. How dare you? I always get. You bitch! And we will hyper potion. Raikou. We will sacrifice Scar. Ooh! We won't have to sacrifice Scar. I'm basically... Well, eh, screw it. If you can take two hits, I should be able to... Unless he gets a crit. He... You're gonna get a crit, aren't you? You're gonna be that guy, and you're going to get another crit right after I healed, won't you? Okay, good. You bitch. Bubble. You're faster than him? But you weren't before. Your speeds must be close then. But then why did he outspeed Riker? Oh! Kill! Of course he's faster. 
All things considered, I probably should have healed. But I'm just angry at him. Because his speed makes no sense. I forgot to heal my dude hotspot. Okay, Raikou, let's try and kill this guy. Quick attack? How much damage are you going to do with a quick attack? Not much, but at the same time, we just need to go first. Don't you dare crit! Don't you dare crit! Don't you dare! Good. Finish him off so that he has one health! Okay, good, he just dies. Yay, I am the victor! Leader Blue is about to send out Arcanine. I'm gonna send out Scar so that he can, like, take some stuff. We're gonna heal up Suicune so Suicune can mur- Wait. Arcanine? Where's your... Where's your... Where's your dude? Where's your uh, Blastoise? I thought you'd have a Blastoise. Not the extremist speedest. No. Sorry, Scar, but you're the sacrificial lamb. We gotta heal up. We gotta heal up Suicune. Extreme speed. It's an alternate timeline. It said Neon about 20 times. Yeah, that tracks. Now, murder this dog that dares to use the extremist speedest. I don't extreme speed just looks like quick attack plus. Ooh, maybe he's gonna give me uh, extreme speed as a TM. I swear if you do crit, I'm gonna be angry. Okay, at least you didn't kill. I should have reworded that. If it's a crit that kills, I would be angry. But I can heal from that. Unless I get a crit. No, I didn't get a crit. I am sad! I want crits too, Daddy! Well, that's the real problem. I left Daddy Inte in the, in the box. Here's my crit luck. Now kill the thing. Kill the, the bird man. Can't you see it's a bird? Look at its feathers. How it dies. Leader Blue was defeated. What? How the heck did I lose to you? Alright. Yep, take this. It's Earth Badge. He didn't even get a new badge. You will see. Wait. Boulder Badge, Earth Badge. What's the difference? All right, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You're a good trainer, but I'm gonna beat you someday. Don't you forget it. And now we can go back to Pallet Town and talk to Mr. Man Man. Man, you're truly rough. That was a heck of an inspirational battle. It brought tears to my eyes. You're wearing glasses, and we all know that people with glasses can't cry. You're lying to me. Heal up our Pokemon that all just got wrecked at some point because Alakazam and your crits! Kind of makes me sad that I couldn't have had Merlin and kept him and leveled him up into an Alakazam so he could use the Shadow Ball for nice irony. My favorite meal, irony. I just realized we don't even need Scar now. At least I don't think so. I kind of want to keep Scar! Because I don't know if we're going to run into Whirlpool. Where? No, 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 I don't think we've run into Whirlpool. Fine, I'm, I'm taking a risk, which means it's going to happen, and at least it'll be a funny. Whoa. Please don't have waterfalls or whirlpools. Please don't have waterfalls or whirlpools at Mount Silver. Please don't have waterfalls or whirlpools at Mount Serval. Server. I'm bringing back my boy. Remember to hydrate. Hydration is most important while stressing out about whether or not you'll be able to access gods.
big package. So remember to hydrate, or God will look down on you and say, No more water for you, and then you'll die. It's just how it goes. I got everyone! Wow, that's excellent! You collected the badges of Jim's and Kanto. Well done. I was right in my assessment of you. Tell you what, Neon. I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your case, Neon. Go up to Indigo Plateau. You can reach Mount Silver from there. How is your Pokemon? I already know. You're going to look at me, baby. You're going to say I'm not good enough. Ah! If you're in the area, I hope you come to visit again. He judges me. It just judges me. It judges me. Well, time to go to Mount Silver. Wow, we actually are gonna finish the game. Well, we're gonna finish the game because there's two things. So I'm. Ba 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 ba. Mm 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 mm. Decisions. Decisions! Where you freeze to death, like in the creepypasta. I've never read that one. I want decisions in my brain! Decisions in my brain! Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe? Hmm. Okay, I think I have a plan. We'll probably call the stream early. And then tomorrow, I will run some tests, see if Kurt is going to be a bish with the GS ball. And then, depending on how that goes, how we'll do it is... Tomorrow, we will finish... Pokemon Silver by doing the GS Ball event, if Kurt is nice and stops blue balling me, we'll catch Lugia and then we'll scale Mount Silver to finish the game. And yeah, that is the thing. I'm, de I'm debating if I should swap games. If I should swap games. Mm. I mean, I guess I could. All right, so that'll be this for Pokemon Silver, oh, Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Crystal. Me dumb. All right. It will be a little odd because I'm going to have to play the outro because I just like it to be complete in the VOD. And so for those on the Neon Icy Games channel, thank you very much for watching and the people here for watching my Pokemon journey up to this point in the stream. I've been Neon... Well, I guess we should go over what I've done today on Pokemon Crystal, as small as it was. We got the GS Ball! Because I used a cheat code, because it's just like, hey, there's no other way to do this. I can't... Any, any other recordable way of doing this is impossible. At least for me. So it's just like, okay, we'll get that event. But then Kurt stole the GS Ball. It's just like, yes, this is amazing. I won't give it to him. He's just mean. He stole my ball that I cheated into the game. Because he's an asshole. So, more than likely, it's going to be like all the other Apricorn Balls, and we're going to have to come back in 24 hours to actually do the event. Who's Kurt? He's the dude that makes custom balls out of the white, black, blue, red, and yellow Apricorns to make, like, the heavy ball, the level ball, the fast ball. Basically, balls that I never use, because the catch rate in this game is so insane, there's no real application for them. Maybe the lure ball, but I never fish. But, yeah, he has the GS ball... And he has to look it over before he'll say whatever it's for, and we can continue the event next time. And, uh, we'll either catch Lugia first and then the GS Ball, or do the GS Ball and then catch Lugia next time. It's all very fluid. But yeah, Kurt stole my GS Ball, and then I decided, ah, screw it, fine, we'll go do the rest of the gyms.
I got completely blindsided by how to get to Pewter. I thought, oh, we'll go up through Cinnabar. Nope, Cinnabar is blocked off because of Volcano Rock, so we can't go down through Cinnabar up to Pallet Town. And I was like, could we go through Victory Road? Nope, can't go through Victory Road. You can only get through by going from, like, Viridian City to Victory Road, which is a little silly. Then... We went, we beat Brock, we beat Blaine, and we beat Blue, all pretty fast. That's basically it. Ah. So yeah, lots of fun. Next time should finish it off, unless blah blah. But because it's early in the stream, we'll probably switch off and do some Hyrule Warriors, just because it's also a nice quick drop in and do some missions type game, even for the story missions. Kingdom Hearts kind of requires some setup, and it's like, it takes a while. <laughs> Sounds like I clicked a pen. I'm talking so fast and doing so many things in my head, and thinking so fast in my short-term memory, so I don't even know how I'd make that sound. Maybe from my mouth? I don't know. <laughs> but yes. Pokemon Crystal, it's been a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what the GS Ball event actually is, because I've only heard about it, and my memory is obviously shot, because I didn't know how to get to stinking Viridian City. Because I forgot how to get the radio card to wake up the Snorlax, who I then killed. Because he wasn't worth the effort. Ha. Ha ha. 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 But yes. Thank you very much for watching me play Pokemon Crystal. But for those live, do, do stay tuned in. Because we're going to be swapping games here in a minute. For those on uh, Neon Icy Games, also thank you for watching up to this point. If you want more from me, I have edited content on Neon Icy Games YouTube and the Neon... Or, no, that's the wrong one. Silly me. I'm, I'm getting tongue-tied. For edited content, it's Neon Icy Wings on YouTube. For recordings of these streams and archival purposes, you can watch them on Neon Icy Games. And like I said, for those watching this on Neon Icy Games, you can catch me live on twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. Other such things, if you want art, you can see me on Twitter, DeviantArt, Tumblr, and uh, Newgrounds. It's always that last one. Not always Newgrounds, but the last one I say, my brain is just like loading information. But yes. Thank you very much for watching. Here's the outro, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.